Another morning here in New York, an early one. It's currently half seven in the morning. It's for a great reason though. We're meeting 7MLC, Michael Lewis Cunningham, an absolute baller, top guy. It's been extremely long since we last saw him. And today I'm so excited to catch up and just play football together, film. That's a purpose. We're going to film a video for you guys. New York brings a lot of nostalgia to me because the first time we came here was with Chris who still to this day I'm extremely grateful for giving us the opportunity to get over here and film football videos so the fact that I'm doing that today means a great deal. It's a nice surface as well. Yeah this is like two years old. We're talking about the DB bags. <laughs> One zip all the way round. Open up. Oh what? <laughs> So it turns out that Michael was actually behind us the whole way, weren't you? Yeah, just following. I saw this shirt and I was, I was like, there's no one else in New York wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of picked that moment since I booked the trip. Yeah, I've been seeing the summer of the Brooklyn Bridge and it just the whole the fields. I was just like, I, love I was, that. I was yeah. in another world, man, honestly. Flat, euphoric. Yeah. yeah. I was about to say something to Michael, but I've got to film this. That goal you scored in the winter when you're wearing the hat, you cut inside <laughs> and you the bend beanie. it. Yeah, like just the, the, the technical ability on that clip alone shows how much of a baller you are. Oh, thank you, mate. Like yeah, that must yeah. have felt unreal doing it did. that. Like, it's it was just, a training game, wasn't it? Yeah, just a pre-season friendly. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was, it was nice. I think that was second touch of the ball or something like that. And you know, when you're working in off season and these are the kind of goals you're like working on and yeah. especially as a winger. Yeah. And it, for it just to come off in the second touch, I'm like, oh yeah. We are about to get started now. What I've realized though, is that people just turn up and do their thing. Comment down below if you've used a select football before, because I certainly haven't. That's crazy. I think we're about to get kicked off. Yeah. All that work we put into moving the goal out. That's where we were, and now we're up here. Not a bad view. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? I was about to say, it's never a bad view looking at you, mate. Three minutes of pinning and I look like this. This is normally how I look after three hours of free kicks. Wow, this heat is intense. It's so early as well. We're going to do a nothing but net challenge. Yep. Curve versus knuckleball. Oh, I'm excited. Let's do yeah? it. Yeah, let's yeah. give it a go. Yeah, absolutely. Can you knuckle it? Because I've got my hands full. On oh. There. Knuckle it. Yes. Was <laughs> <laughs> oh, that too hard? I, no, I, no, I, I, can't, I can't tell how hard you hit it when you've got <laughs> a good sound. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> First up, yep. cool that. All right. Start First up, knuckle ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a strike though. Keep going. Yeah, we'll do three lives. Three lives, I've lost a life. Okay. Yeah, yeah. two lives. Yep. You only got one life. <laughs> Live it. Oh, what a strike though. Oh, he's dealt with the pressure. I'm putting myself in risk for the next one. <laughs> That's it. The highs. Oh, wow. Oh, he's oh. lost the line. Nice, well played. This is something I cannot do, the knuckleball from a 
stationary position. You can hit him on the move, but this technique is above my pay grade. Wow, that felt so nice. Mate, this ball though. <laughs> Oh my! Oh my! One life left. That was a sick effort from Michael there. Filming a knuckleball versus curve, nothing but net challenge. We progress down. Look at that! Spot on. Oh my word! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> word. Oh, crashes off now. <laughs> Oh, mate, fair play. It even came in, didn't it? Fair play. Okay, it's so much harder to do with a knuckleball as well, so... Thank you. Well done. And shout out to Marco for putting a select match ball. I need one. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone needs one. Yeah, exactly. So good, aren't they? Yeah. And we were saying about the Mizuno boots being underrated. Similar centre of the match ball there. Oh, yeah. Having so much fun. We're about to film another challenge for Michael's Instagram. So I will leave all the links to that in the description for you guys to catch up with. Done in, Hammy is feeling a bit tight, but we're stopping off at a coffee place to have a quick breather and another mini catch up as to what we've been up to. They can do with the situation, we're not going to find anywhere quiet for an outro, are we? That's right, that's part of being a YouTuber though, isn't it? It's yeah. Just adapting. Well, well, like, we... Even at the pitch, you know? Check him out, 7MLC, a huge inspiration for Charlie and I. Charlie will be extremely jealous if missed out, but all I can say is, Thank you so much for hosting and we'll see you again soon. Okay, looking forward to it, mate. Cheers, man. Pleasure. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon. Back in. We're assessing the possibility of the ball dipping into the cone. <laughs> oh no, it fits. Now I want to do it. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Mate, oh no! Error there. <laughs> this could go viral. It won't because it's us, but you never know. The technique here has got to be a dip. It can't be a dead ball too much. A bit of top spin would work, perhaps. But then it might bounce back out. But look, that's what we're aiming for. People need to yeah. appreciate the okay. struggles, right? Mark is going to do a talking clip for me. Sammy, like a bit of advice. If I was doing this, don't get frustrated if you don't get it, and set yourself a limit. So if you're going for something as difficult as this. Go for 20 shots and limit at that, focus on each one because it's very unlikely that you're going to get it and you'll probably get somewhere close and you'll be frustrated. And that's the, for me, that's the kind of, the, the curse of those like goal shot things, you know, with the targets. You can hit a top corner, but if it doesn't get right in the top corner, in the target, sometimes you feel unsatisfied, but it would have beaten the goalkeeper in a match. So just kind of get that. You've legit just called out my biggest issue with knuckleballs is that a lot of my free kicks would generally beat the keeper, oh, but yeah. because they're not right in the upper 90 stanchion, I get upbeat and down about it. And to be fair, the ones that go down the middle are usually the ones that sway to the corner and back in the middle. They're the ones that usually beat the goalie anyway. So. That's true. And I've got a name for this video 20 from 20. You heard me out there. Yeah. 20 yards out. 20 attempts. Let's go. Let's go. What a strike! No. Oh, that's so good. Oh, no. Oh. Get out. 
close this oh. was. Oh, it's like an wow. inch below. And then the one before it, I'll where show you guys hit the goal. It's like, oh. but look at where it enters. It's like. That would have been the right height for it. Perfect. I appreciate it, man. Wowzers. Watch we came for. close. 20. Close yes, cheers, man. 20 and 20. Not quite today, but maybe we give it a go somewhere else. Let me know if you've enjoyed that mini edit and we'll catch you very soon. Back of it.